Hey everyone, wanted to make a video showing how I use the overlays and the categories in Gina. I've gotten a lot of questions about this uh, from folks watching my videos, watching the live stream, uh, especially from folks that have downloaded the trigger packages that I've put out. And uh, I, I probably should mention first that if you're not using Gina to parse your log files and handle your audio triggers, uh, you probably should download it. I'm going to put a link in the description here. It's also going to let you use the text pop-ups and the timers that I'm going to be talking about in this video. I'll also get you links to the trigger packages that I'm using. Uh, I tweak these and try to up update them periodically. You can download them, import them into Gina and use them yourselves. Uh, but you, if you import them, you may have the same question that a lot of people have. Um, why doesn't it look exactly on my screen like it does on yours? And this video should help to answer that for you. Um, just so that you know what, what I'm talking about, uh, I'm going to go ahead and target my pet here and cast Avatar on it. And what we're going to see is that uh, I've got, I get a one minute timer that shows up right here showing the cooldown on Avatar. Avatar is a one minute cooldown. Sometimes in a group, I'm in a group with four or five melees. I want to keep Avatar on all of them because uh, it only lasts about 12 minutes. Um, then that's with my my buff extensions. Um, but with the one minute cooldown, I can't just chain cast it. I've got to juggle that. So these timers uh, help me just be able to glance up in the corner of my screen, see exactly how many seconds are left on Avatar. Also see exactly how much time is left on the buff. Um, super useful not just for folks in your group but maybe folks that you're buffing outside your group but in the same raid you're going to need to refresh that on them occasionally it's, it's really convenient to just look up in the screen and see how much time is left on their buff when my cooldown runs out we're going to look, get a little pop-up avatar is ready and a voice that tells me that avatar is ready to cast again and uh, i can i can target my pet again and click avatar again and we'll see that we will will repeat that process uh, so I've got my timers up here in the corner and uh, we're gonna take a look at how I got them up there um, this is specifically uh, under the avatar cooldown uh, you can see where it's nested here and we can poke back over here uh, towards the end of the video but first I just wanted to uh, go to this overlays tab take a look at what's going on here um, I've got uh, actually two overlay windows here one on the left hand side one on the right hand side you can pause the video and take a look at these settings if you want to copy them for yourself we're not going to look at every single little thing here I'll point out a couple of things and the main one is that for my own purposes I've set the fonts on these to courier new uh, because that gives me a fixed width uh, font uh, every single character in the is font ready. is the exact same character uh, every single character is the exact same width and uh, that's useful for the way that that I present the data for myself if I'm if I'm really am juggling avatar on five or six or seven however many melees um, it lets me really easily see all their names in a row uh, but you may not like that you can set it up however you want um, I do show the timer bar that's where you can see like in the avatar of my pet spirit um, it, it's slowly counting down if I were to uncheck that I wouldn't get the green bar I would just have uh, the numerals counting down on the left hand side on the left hand side I'm sorting these by the order trigger uh, it just has to do with the way that I like uh, the data presented to me whereas on the right hand side it's the time remaining uh, and I, I do it this way because I keep my triggers, my, my timers on the right hand side um, really for um, stuff that, that I'm waiting on or looking at or keeping track of. But it's not necessarily that it's something that I have to take care of. Whereas on the left hand side, it's stuff that I have to take care of. Like um, if I get a dot uh, on me that I need to cure, uh, like the Bertoxulus AE that he does. Uh, it's kind of like a, my little to-do list uh, if a buff wears off like if uh, so runs off 
on somebody or avatar, avatar wears off. That pops up on the left hand side and so I like to see the order that those come in rather than the time that's remaining on something on the right hand side. Um, and I've played with the different ways. Uh, you can you can mess with all of this and see what you like for yourself but that's the way that I have those set up for my timers. Um, and I just clicked add to create one more. I put these in these spots to kind of go with my UI. Um, you can move these around, you can change the size, you can rename them, whatever you want to do. But uh, I put these here uh, just, there, were, there, there was some empty space on the screen. And if you play EverQuest, you know it's really easy for these user interfaces to clog up the whole screen really fast. Uh, but these are some good, I felt like good places for me to put this information. I'm going to close these out and uh, just look at the, the one text overlay that I have. I've called it center because it's basically in the middle of my screen. I just left this um, as the uh, Arial font. I think that's the default. It matches the font in game. It's a, it's a good decent size um, so that when something pops up in the middle of my screen uh, that avatar is ready, um, that I'm my invis is wearing off, uh, something important like that. It's right there where I can see it. Uh, also, since I'm live streaming, since I'm uh, putting gameplay videos up on YouTube and people are watching these, uh, I want viewers to be able to easily see what's going on in the game. Some of the cool stuff that if there was no audience, maybe I wouldn't really care to put up in the middle of the screen for myself. But if I get a skill up or a critical heal or something like that, if I uh, win an item, I like to throw that up on the screen so that uh, viewers can see very clearly uh, some of the highlights of the game. Uh, you might find other uses. You might want to create additional overlays and make the font size uh, different based on how important the information is. You can really do a lot with it. Uh, I just uh, haven't haven't really got too deep into the text overlay. I'm re really happy just to anything that's important just have it pop up right in the middle of the screen for me. Once you get your overlays uh, set up the way that, that you like them, um, what you'll do with these is on this categories tab, uh, you'll create the categories that you want. Right now I have five. Um, I really haven't added a new category in several weeks, maybe even a couple of months now. Um, but I add them as I find that I need them. Uh, I've got one for uh, stuff that's wearing off. Um, that's like when Avatar wears off or Spirit of the Wolf or Haste. Um, when these spells wear off that I know people are probably going to want refreshed, uh, that's going to pop up on the left hand side uh, because over here I've chosen that it's going to be the left overlay and I picked blue. Um, but you can, of course, pick whatever color you want. Uh, whereas on the right hand side, like we saw earlier with Avatar, I've got a one minute cooldown for Avatar. Uh, and it's a, it's a little blue bar that slowly ticks down. And uh, here I've picked that it's going to be on the right hand side. And I picked the blue color. Uh, you can name these whatever you want. Um, and you can set the colors in here as well. Uh, but you just, for what I'm doing here, I picked the name, picked the overlay that I wanted, and I picked the color of the timer bar. You can change the color of the font. Um, if you do use multiple text overlays, um, you, can, you can pick the text overlay as well. Uh, that doesn't really apply for what I'm doing. Uh, but hopefully this shows you some of the customized options that, that you can use. Um, one of these has to be a default. And right now mine's just set uh, to the right hand side, green timers. Uh, if I create a new trigger, it's going to default to that category. Every single trigger has a category and this is where you're going to pick which ones they go to uh, if you don't want it sitting in your default. Let's click back over to home now and uh, we'll, open up, we'll open up the trigger editor and just take a look at uh, what we see from this end of it. Um, and then we'll cast it again and uh, just watch that watch that timer come down again. Uh, I've named it that it's a cooldown. You can see the search text. Nothing here on this basic tab. Um, for my category, 
uh, this is where I pick which category from the categories that I've made and I want this to be on the right hand side and blue but I could name this anything so I just try to pick a memorable name that's going to be helpful for me you can see that the timer duration is one minute and that's how we decide what's going to pop up over here um, I don't have anything for the timer ending but for the timer ended I do I have this display text the avatar is ready so that's why at the end of the spell we see that it pops up in the middle of the screen and says avatar is ready uh, there's different things that uh, you can use in these and if you watch some of my other videos you can probably get some ideas for those uh, but basically here I just wanted to show you how I'm getting this text to pop up on the screen where are these timers coming from uh, if you're watching me in a raid and I am buffing the melees and you see me cast avatar why does it show up in the corner there um, how do I pick the time on avatar how do I pick the color why is it assigned in that corner versus another um, and at the end of at the end of the timer uh, how do you get that text to pop up uh, and that's that's exactly how you do it uh, there's some other neat stuff that you can do with this you can put it on different monitors um, you can have I guess as many overlays as you want and you can you can really customize this a lot and get a ton out of it um, I'm slowly building this tweaking it develop, developing it as I as I play through and this is kind of the state where it is um, you know it could be a couple months it could be a couple weeks could even be a couple of days before I change this up and find a a better way that I like it something that's better for me uh, but we'll see this pop up again avatar is ready and it goes away and now I would know that I'm good to cast avatar one more time and uh, that really wraps up this video um, there's a lot more that I probably could have said um, going into some, some more of those details some of the options in there but um, I didn't want to overload too much on this video and even this I know it can be a bit overwhelming if it's your first time I really like Gina um, sometimes it's not quite as intuitive as you might expect it to be um, but it's very versatile very helpful and if you're not using it already I hope that you'll download it from the link in my description uh, download some of the trigger packages that I have available import them get your overlays set up the way that you like them get your categories set up the way that you like them and uh, start playing EverQuest using Drina, Gina uh, manage your audio triggers those text pop-ups and your timers I think that will really uh, help polish your gameplay uh, I do want to thank everybody for watching this video if you have any questions uh, leave them uh, below the video in the comments uh, shoot me a tell in game uh, be glad to answer your questions and try to help uh, if you have any other thoughts or other feedback just let me know and don't forget to like this video and if you think it would help somebody else I hope that you'll share it with them too uh, anything else that you can think of just let me know I uh, just appreciate you watching and hope you enjoyed this and learned something from it